one of the best uh, memories in 2022 for black women across the globe was the death of Kevin Samuels. And do not come and tell me I'm going to go to hell because he's dead. We should let it be. No. He spent his life belittling black women. He spent his time. He spent, you know, he immersed a lot of money and fame simply by bashing black women. There's a politician in South Africa, Jacob Zuma, where if you spend your time speaking badly about him, you are guaranteed fame and you are guaranteed money in South Africa. It goes for black women as well. You have YouTubers like Jada Black and uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson who spend their time bashing black women every hour. There is a video bashing black women. The nice thing about Kevin Samuel's death is that we saw that despite how rich he seemed, despite the likes and the shares of his videos, he didn't even have money for a coffin he didn't even have, even have money to bury himself he did not think about tomorrow what adult that age doesn't have a funeral plan he felt by insulting black women he was invincible that he would be immortal and it didn't happen and as black women we've lost a lot of great black women but we will celebrate in that in 2022, God said, I'm going to take the person who's dedicated his life to speaking ill of black women. And I encourage other black women. We still have the likes of Jada Black. We still have the li likes of O'Shea Duke Jackson. We've got even black women themselves who realize that bashing black women pays you. If you want clicks if you want likes say something bad about black women say that black men prefer white women because of that and that and then i promise you you will get retweets you get likes you'll get views because when you speak of black women in a uh, in a defam defam in, in, a, in a defamatory way you are guaranteed money it's it's their return on investment but we thank god i believe in ancestors and that they they let kevin samuel lose his life in a dishonorable way because if you're gonna die and people have to donate just so we stick you to the ground it shows how you lived your life a wise person will take a funeral plan i am touching my 30s i've got a funeral plan i've got a life assurance plan never mind the pensions and the savings but because you must think that you're a mortal human being kevin was so engulfed by the hatred of black women that he didn't even think about his tomorrow so no matter what happens we will celebrate in that not because we celebrate his demise but that a loud mouth has been shuttered down he could have gotten wiser he could have stopped in time you know when you have so much hatred in your heart it kills you hatred kills you the amount of energy that people invest in speaking ill of black women it will kill you it will kill you it will shorten your life we have men like michael jordan you know, left a black woman for a white woman who he met at a party. That thing happens. And if you look at Michael Jordan's face, it's dark, almost evil in itself. Because that's the view they have. And I promise you, when you harbor those feelings, even though you may be a great person, there's going to be some certain things that you could have aspired to that you don't reach. Because hatred stops you hatred prevents you from being the best you the people who do a lot of words will tell you how do you get ahead when you're trying to get even so to the many men like kevin samuels to the white women who think sleeping with a black woman man makes you less of a racist that's okay but stop speaking ill of black women
black women face more prejudice than any other race and that is because our very own black men who are supposed to be our shelter our protector our brothers our fathers they are the ones who are demeaning us who are making it a, a fashion to speak ill of black women that's got to stop don't be a kevin samuels remember black girls rock